Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerle and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to earn money on YouTube. A lot of people, I know my channel talks a lot about creating a YouTube channel and how you can create different income streams through the channel. But today I want to talk about something different. I get asked a lot from people, usually younger people, how can I make money online and I don't want to sell things? Like they don't want to go to Poshmark or Facebook Marketplace and things like that. Too much trouble, right? So they want to figure out how can I make money online? Yes, you can fill out surveys. That's a big one. I know a lot of people do, but it's not very lucrative from what I'm hearing. I've never done it, but I know other people that have. So today I started thinking to myself, what would I want to do uh, to make money online if I was trying to, you know, just make some extra cash on the side? Data entry. Data entry. Anybody can do that, right? If you know how to type, most, most of you know how to do that. And you can go to another company and do data entry for them. I call it monkey work. I've done this before. So it's a great way to make some extra money while you're waiting for that thing that you're going to do in your life, right? Right now, you're not sure you, or you, you have a job and you're looking for something on the side, whatever it is, this is a great way to make money. All right, let's jump in and I'm going to show you some companies that are hiring and looking for people to do data entry. So what is data entry? First of all, data entry is when you take a hard copy of something like a sales receipt or addresses from or information that people have, and you're taking it from a hard copy and putting it into the computer. Think of yourself at the doctor's office when you have to fill out that form and answer all those questions. Well, a lot of doctor's offices, instead of having you write it out, they have you type it in before you get to the office. Well, what about all those old files or maybe some people who don't have access to a computer who is putting that information into the database? And that would be somebody like you. So this is a job that you could get online or you could actually go get this job from different offices that are trying to convert everything to digital. That's what data entry is. It's actually, I don't think a very bad job. I think it'd be fun. You have different things that you're typing in. It's something you can do at your leisure. Um, just keep track of your hours. Now, a lot of these companies will have some kind of a timer where you put the timer on and it's all digital as you're working they know that you're on the computer working and that's how they track your time for the work that you're doing so it's kind of cool you can work two hours at a time get all your time in that you need to get in but do it at your leisure and at your rate if that makes sense all right so let's look at some companies that are looking for data entry people one of the companies i found is called cloudfactory.com and this doesn't really tell us anything unless I go in and fill out my name and all of that stuff. So what I did is I went to Glassdoor and it's a company here, Glassdoor Salaries. And I went in and kind of Googled to see what people are making at that company. And there's a lot of different positions at the company, but you can see that they're legit because they do have salaries listed. So if you go to Glassdoor, you can find different salaries that are listed for that company. The next company that I found is called flexjobs.com and flexjobs.com actually offers a lot of flexible jobs that you can do from home. But we're going to go in here to the top and look for data entry and see what they have. Now you can also put your location in. It may be something that you can find somebody local near you, but data entry is, um, there is a role available right down here and they have them in different states. So again, you can apply. A lot of this is remote. You don't have to live there and you can find out exactly what jobs are available and lots of them listed here this next one i found is pretty amazing they do have data entry but they have all kinds of other things as well so if you find that you don't really want to do data entry you're really not sure what you're looking for check out microworkers.com and watch this as we scroll down there are tons of different jobs there's data entry um, you can do things like um, taking surveys or data annotation so there's lots of entry work lots of different things that you can do and you just need to apply now one of the questions you probably have is well how much money does a data entry person make that's what i want to know i want to make some money and i went ahead and googled it because a lot of these companies aren't really telling um, unless i go in and subscribe which i'm not looking for a job but here salary estimates are twenty seven thousand to forty one thousand dollars per year i also see down here it says the average per hour is roughly roughly $19 an hour. So that's not bad for doing data entry. I actually thought it might have been a little bit lower. So pretty good pay for being able to have flexible time and work from home and 
sit there and just put data entry in. My goodness, it's something that you can do while you're visiting with a friend and having a cup of coffee. So let's look for one more company and then we'll call it quits for, for today. This last one I want to show you is a little bit different. You might have to have a little bit of experience, but let's say you start working for one of those other companies and you're like, I want to start my own business and, and start diversifying and working for several different agencies. This one's called Kendall Creek Communications. It's actually, actually a government agency. They have no transcribers or data entry people. These are just jobs they need, they contract out to other people. So you would be a contractor. You would contact them, say that I can do the data entry. You would bid on a job and then get it. Of course, you're gonna be in business for yourself and you're gonna to have to pay your own taxes and all those things. That's a whole nother video, right? Um, but it's, it's a great way to start your own business. So you may work for more than one agency or you may just look for money, uh, try to work for an agency and just make some money on the side. But data entry definitely is really big right now. People are more and more, they're taking their data, their, their hard copies and they're putting it into digital and it takes a lot of time and a lot of work to do that. You might even look at some of your local nonprofit organizations. For instance, we have a Pregnancy Decision Health Center that I volunteered at a couple years ago. Everything was still in files. Like we're talking a wall for files. And they were talking about how one day they were going to get everything put into digital. And I'm sitting there going, let's start now. So go into offices like that, that you know that may not be up with the times, maybe they just don't have the resources or the time and to, and offer your services. Say that, hey, this is something I could do for you. And you'll be surprised at how many companies are out there. So you can name your own price. And again, the most important thing is you get to do it on your time. All right, I hope this was helpful. Give me a comment below if it was, let me know what you think and I will see you on the next video.